Have you ever pondered on the depth of love and sacrifice embodied in the crucifixion? The tale of a savior's passion, a story that has been told and retold over centuries, is a profound narrative that transcends time and space. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This divine proclamation, as chronicled in the Gospel of John, set the stage for a story of love and redemption that would forever change the course of human history. Born in Bethlehem, a small town in the Roman province of Judea, Jesus Christ emerged as a guiding light in a world engulfed in darkness. His teachings of love, forgiveness, and compassion drew people from all walks of life. However, his radical message also stirred controversy, leading to a series of events that would culminate in his crucifixion. Jesus' journey to the cross began with the Last Supper. It was here, in an intimate gathering with his disciples, that he expressed his impending sacrifice. He broke bread, symbolizing his body to be broken, and shared wine, representing his blood to be spilled. This shared meal wasn't merely a farewell dinner, it was a poignant symbol of his selfless love. Then came the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus wrestled with his human fear and divine purpose. This was a moment of intense struggle, where he prayed fervently and sweat drops of blood. It was here that he accepted his fate, saying, Not my will, but yours be done, surrendering to the divine plan. Following his arrest, Jesus went through a series of trials. He stood before Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, and the religious leaders of the day. Despite the false accusations and the clamor for his death, he remained silent, embodying the grace and dignity of a king. Finally, he was led to Golgotha, the place of the skull, carrying his cross. Nailed to this wooden cross, he was left to die. Yet, even in his final moments, he prayed for those who persecuted him, demonstrating the boundless nature of his love. His death on the cross was not the end of the story. Three days later, he rose from the dead, signifying the victory over sin and death. The resurrection is the climax of the narrative, a triumphant affirmation of life and hope. In summary, the crucifixion is not just a tale of a savior's passion. It is a narrative of love, sacrifice, and redemption. It begins with a shared meal, leads to a garden of struggle, a series of trials, and finally a cross, Matthew 27. Yet the story doesn't end with death. It culminates in a resurrection, Matthew 28. 5 to 6. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. This is a symbol of hope and victory. The crucifixion is a testament to the depth of divine love, a love that chose to bear the cross for the sake of humanity. It serves as a reminder that even in the darkest moments, there is a promise of light and life. John 14, 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. This is the tale of a Savior's passion, a narrative that continues to inspire and transform lives today. Jesus Christ died for you. If you only believe, you will have everlasting life. John 3, 16.